So in this lecture, let's work on learning how to add a unique ID to the to do items which we have up over here. And in order to add a unique ID to this, first of all, you need to take a look at how the to do list array looks like. So if you go to the code here, and if you go to app.js, this is what your array looks like. So here we have the to do list array. And currently inside this particular to do list array, what we are doing is that we are essentially getting the data from the form, which is nothing but a simple input. And we are setting that particular input up over here. So here is where we set that in the set to do list. So right now, this to do which we get here is nothing but the to do which is being entered inside this form, which is this form right here. The problem though is that this to do is a simple string. And now we also want to add an ID to this as well. So now the question is, how would you save the name of the to do item as well as the ID of the item as well? So that means you have to save two properties for the to do. And in such cases, whenever you have to save multiple properties of a certain kind of data, you always make use of an object. So now our job is to go ahead and instead of saving a simple string here, instead we want to save the name of the to do as well as an ID. So we have to convert this thing into an object. So let's convert this thing into an object making use of curly brackets like that. And now here I would set the name property of that object to the to do. So that means whenever I type in homework here, whenever a new to do list item is created, it's going to have a name property and this homework is going to be set to the name of that to do. And in a similar fashion, I would add another property which is called as ID. So here I would say ID and now here we have to assign an ID for each to do item which we create. But the problem here is that we don't have anything for the ID and we cannot go ahead and manually assign an ID to each to do item. So that becomes a problem. So that means we now need to find a way to generate IDs for our application. And in order to do that, there's a package called as short ID. So now if you just open up your terminal here, and if you just scroll down, you'll get an error. Don't worry about that for now. So simply stop the server here. And you need to install a package called as short ID. So you need to say npm install. That's going to be short ID. Simply go ahead, install the short ID package using npm. And make sure that whenever you're installing this package, you are into the parent directory, which is the directory of your application. So it's going to take a while for this package to get installed. Okay, so once that package is installed, now we could use that particular short ID package. However, there's a little bit of warning which I would like to give about the short ID package. So if you visit the NPM page for short ID package, it says that short ID is deprecated because the architecture is unsafe. Instead, they have recommended a new kind of ID generator called as nano ID, which is a lot better than short ID. However, as we are just using this particular thing for learning purposes, there's no issue if you use short ID here. Here we are using that packet simply to generate some random IDs. And the reason why we won't be jumping into using other packages like nano ID or some other ones is that they are difficult to use and short ID is one of the most efficient. So we don't want to focus much on generating unique IDs. We just want to focus on building our application. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on building our application. So once short ID is installed, you need to say import. That's going to be short ID. And we want to import this from short ID. So here I would say short ID. So once we have imported that, now making use of the short ID package, I could now generate any kind of ID which I want or any random ID which I want. So here I would say short ID dot and here I would use a function or a method from it called as generate and call this particular method or function here. So what this will do is that it will generate a unique ID with every particular to do item. And now if you really want to test if this works, let's open up the terminal and start our app. So npm start, if we start that, hopefully we shouldn't have any kind of errors. So yeah, right now if I go back here, if I just go up over here, uh, let's give it a little bit of time to refresh. So yeah, right now it's working. And let's now add an item. So dinner, if I add this, I actually get an error. And let's take a look at the error and let's see what it says. 
So now it's asking us to check the render method of to-do list. And yeah, we do have a problem over there because right now we have made a couple of changes to the form. And if we make changes to the form, that means obviously the rendered output is going to change as well. So we need to fix a couple of things inside the to-do list. So if we go here inside the to-do list, we are mapping the to-do items. And if we go to the to-do items, which we have up over here, right now what's happening is that this to-do item, which we are passed here is actually an object. And we don't want an object here. Instead, we want to access the property of that object, which is nothing but name. So now if I just go back here, if you take a look at the form, now you cannot just say to do item. Instead, you want to access the name property. So here you need to say to do item dot name. If we do that, go back here. Now this should work. So right now, if I add dinner here, as you can see, it says a dinner. And again, this warning pops up and that's because we have not yet assigned the key attribute. And we are going to fix this particular error in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.